this is Danan with Talus TCT, and this video will guide you through the integration of Mark Logic with KeySecure for the purpose of data at rest encryption. This video presumes that you have a KeySecure with a trusted local CA already established, that you have a KMIP key server with a signed TLS server certificate already created, and also that you have created a Mark Logic server local user. In this case, we encourage you to use the FQDN, especially if you're utilizing this on a cluster. We presume that Mark Logic is already installed and also that you have OpenSSL installed. The first thing that we're going to do to configure Mark Logic to use KeySecure is generate the private key and certificate signing request. Notice for common name that the fully qualified domain name is used. This is done for consistency. It's not necessarily required. In the event that there is a cluster, by using the fully qualified domain name, the username and key secure, and therefore the owner of the keys, will all be identified by a unique identifier that ties them to this specific server. Notice that the key and the CSR file have been created. Open the CSR file in a text editor. Copy the certificate request, making sure to copy the leading and trailing dashes. Launch Key Secure. Navigate to the local CA and click Sign Request. This certificate will be set up as a client certificate. Change the certificate duration. Paste in the contents of the CSR. Click Sign Request. Click Download. Here is that downloaded certificate. Next, go back to the local CAs and click Download to download the CA certificate as well. As you can see, we've copied the files to the proper directories. Now you can see that the files have been renamed in accordance with the names that Mark Logic expects to find. Return to Key Secure and click Security. You can see that I have already configured these keys, but just to show you how to do it, you're going to go to Create Keys. You're going to enter your key name. Of course, you wouldn't have any spaces. Your owner username, in this case, it was my fully qualified domain name. The algorithm needs to be AES256. We need to check that the key is active and the process starts immediately. And once you've done that, you can click Create, which I'm not going to do because I've already established my keys. You're going to need to create a unique key for each of the purposes that you have. So if you're doing data, configuration, and logs, you're going to need to create all three of those keys. Clicking on the key name takes us to the key properties. It is the unique ID that MarkLogic uses, so we will copy that into our buffer. With the unique ID of my key copied into my buffer, I'm going to come into the MarkLogic server admin console and navigate to clusters, then key store. Next, change the KMS type to external. As a side note, you might have noticed that I've switched from IE to Chrome as my browser. Here, you can see me clicking between the internal KMS and external KMS tabs, which was an issue in IE, if you experience a similar issue, using Chrome should resolve your problem. So in here, I'm going to enter my host name. That's my key secure. And then I'm going to enter the port that we're using. And then this is my key ID for data. So we're going to put that key ID in. Then I'm going to go back into my key secure and get the config key. And then I'm going to go back into Key Secure and get the logs. And once I do that, I'm going to click OK. Notice down here that it says that it's waiting. It's going to perform a validation. And if everything works the way it should, it's going to drop you out right here. On the Key Secure, if I go into my log viewer, I can see that there was activity that was taking place. So here, 
it reached out uh, when we saw it doing that validation and we know that we're all set to go here. We're going to go back into our key store and this is where we're going to decide what encryption we want to use. We will select to encrypt the data. We will select to encrypt the configuration and we will leave the logs off and then we simply click OK. At this point, your MarkLogic server is configured for data encryption. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. Mm -hmm.